one with my glorious I am presence. And Holy Christ Self. My personalities, body elemental, and new spirit. All parts of my being are in balance, harmony, and alignment. I pull in my aura so it is fully contained within my heart diamond and Metatron's cosmic egg. For today, I am asking Metatron a question that was posed by one of the viewers about the relationship between mathematics and spirituality. And I am now ready to receive today's message. Greetings, beloveds. I welcome your questions as always. And this particular question about the relationship between mathematics and spirituality is quite a complex question and can, in fact, be answered on many different dimensional levels. But for today, I would like to give you a basic understanding There is a dimension in which geometric figures prevail. They are, in a certain sense, the blueprints of creation on the lower levels. These geometric figures are the basis of a science called sacred geometry. And so I would suggest that anyone who wishes to have a more in-depth understanding of the relationship between mathematics and spirituality that they do some research in or on the subject of sacred geometry. There is so much to say on this subject it is hard to know where to begin. But mathematical formulas have been used for a very long time to express relationships between objects, numbers, and forces in the universe. Many of the forces that you perceive, such as heat, gravity, the speed of light, have been expressed in mathematical terms. So there is basically a mathematical formula that can express all of the forces in creation. It does not mean that the formulas create the force, but the force is an expression of the formula. And it is useful when one wishes to control the force. 
from the lower human perspective. Beings beyond the human realm can control these forces merely with the power of their divine mind. But as much of humanity is not functioning from the, the viewpoint or the perspective of the divine mind, they need these formulas in order to be able to control the forces. This is why these forces are very often misused. All of the chemtrails, all of the harp vibrations were determined through mathematics. But mathematics divorced from the divine mind. And so these formulas, whether they be physical formulas or chemical formulas, are being used to harm and to hurt. Whereas those beings who can control these forces without the use of mathematics and purely from their divine mind, would never misuse such forces and would use them only to benefit humanity, not to enslave humanity, nor to cause humanity to perish. This question was posed by the viewer after he had seen the video about music. Music and sound can also be used for good or for destruction. Mathematics is exactly the same. Once humanity has gained knowledge of how to control a force, they were supposed to use it only for good. But that has not been the case. But times are changing. And those who willingly misuse and abuse the divine forces will no longer be able to do so. So this is really quite a brief understanding of how mathematics and spirituality are interlinked. I would say it is more mathematics and creation rather than mathematics and spirituality. Although I do suggest that you look into sacred geometry to have more explanations of how mathematics in the form of geometry has a great influence on your spirituality. This is mostly in the form of symbols. Symbols do not have merely an intellectual aspect. For example, the six-pointed six star intellectually is most often associated with the Jewish religion, and it is called the Star of David from that point of view. But it is also a double triangle. And on an archetypal level, it 
it provokes certain responses in your unconscious that have nothing to do with the intellectual meaning associated with that particular symbol. And so it is with all symbols of a divine nature. This aspect is most clearly demonstrated in the crop circles that are appearing all over the planet. Many of these crop circles are made from recognizable symbols. But when you view them, they are imprinting your unconscious with a message that may be totally unrelated to any intellectual understanding you may have of that symbol. There are many, many crop circles that are appearing that have no known meaning to them. These two are influencing you on an unconscious level. They are bringing a certain spiritual program into your being that does not need to be intellectually understood because your mind is such a small part of your being. You are perceiving things and understanding things on many other levels and parts of your being other than the mind. And that is what these crop circles are doing. Some of them are working to overcome the mass hypnotic suggestions that are being placed upon you through your media, through the harp system, and through other quite nefarious means that have been found in order to keep you asleep, unaware of all that is happening in your world, and unaware of who you truly are. Fortunately, the light beings are much more powerful and much more wise than the beings who are trying to manipulate you into submission. And so we also have our ways of overcoming their hypnosis, overcoming their evil that they are trying to spread through many, many systems at this time. This is why I ask you to trust. To trust in the outcome, which is the only one that can occur, and that is the ascension of the planet and the enlightenment of all her inhabitants. This is a done deal, beloved. Regardless of how the others try to manipulate and control you, they will fail. And that failure is quick approaching. So trust in the final glorious outcome that is yours to behold even now. Focus on that. Know that that is your future. Accept the possibility that it can even be your now. That is why it is so important that you do your daily meditations, beloveds. The more time you spend in meditation, the more you are allowing your being to be influenced by the light and the love 
that the entire spiritual hierarchy is constantly pouring forth upon you. You can make this transition as easy or as difficult as you wish. I offer you the easy way, but it is not for free. It takes great effort on your part to overcome the ego mind, to focus on all that you know to be divine, to not allow yourself to experience all of the negative motions that are constantly in flux all around you, but to choose a higher vibration to focus on, to choose to concentrate on love, light, joy, peace, abundance, all that you wish to see manifest in your world. This is your job, beloved. I will point the way out to you, but it is up to you to lift your feet, to take each step, and to follow the path to its successful to its success. I thank you for listening to this video. I love you and I bless you always. I am Metatron.